Well, hi everybody. Welcome back to the Life's Good. Uh, about a week ago, we put the uh, rhubarb wine into this bucket. We put it away in the cupboard, and uh, for the first three days, I stirred it each day, and then uh, I've left it a week. So, if you stick around, stay with me today, and I'll show you what we do next. Well, the bubbler's telling me that the little groove to lift the lid off is right here. So, we can do that very easily. Lift the lid. Now, you can see in there, guys, that that's already started bubbling away. And it creates quite a bit of froth, um, which is one of the reasons why I put this in a larger bucket. I could have perhaps put it in that smaller bucket, kept it in that smaller tub when I was messing around, sort of decanting it from one to the other, and then back into this bucket. Um, However, it does create quite a lot of froth on there, and I thought I'll, give, I'll play safe and I'll put it in the bigger bucket. Now, I've got a sterilized spoon, and all I'm going to do now is to give that a little stir, and you can see the color of the liquid underneath is actually quite rosé-ish. It's quite pinky red. I'll just give that a little bit of a stir up, just like that. That should be sufficient, guys. And I will now put the lid back on and place this back in the cupboard for a further 24 hours. And that's all you do at this point in time. And then I'll come back to this tomorrow at the same sort of time and give it another stir. three final stir <clears throat> and uh, I can now leave this for a further four days or so and uh, we'll be ready for the next stage well this has been bubbling quite well during the week um, it's slowing down a little bit but the next stage now we, we need to decant the wine off of the sediment in the bottom of this bucket into a clean sterile demijohn. I've already prepared this jar. It's clean, it's sterilized. I've got a bubbler and a bung ready, ready to go on the top. And we will siphon the wine from this bucket into this demijohn. Before we do, I'll lift you off and let you have a peep in the bucket to see the state of play inside. Well, as you can see, the wine is still bubbling quite well. Um, if I just touch the lid, you can see, if I just press that, now, now, that, that's the CO2 that's being given off by the process of the yeast eating the sugar to produce the alcohol. And in that process, it gives off CO2, which is what's being released through the top of the bucket and through this little bubbler which allows the air out, but nothing can get back in. No bugs and nasties that might spoil the fermentation. Well, looking inside the bucket, you can see that the, uh, the froth is almost completely gone now. Uh, there will be a lot of sediment sitting in the bottom. Uh, the liquid itself is quite a, a pink stroke red colour. Um, it is still fermenting, there is some activity there, but it has slowed up considerably over the last couple of days. So what I'm going to try and do now is to siphon this from this bucket into the demijohn. Right guys, well before we continue, I just want to point out that this window on my right, that's your left, is the window that faces the plum tree. And this plum tree, the other side here, is the one with the pigeons nesting in. Now today have been, has been quite eventful, and uh, I've had to keep stopping what I'm doing here 
in order to get involved in what's going up there. So if the light conditions and a few things seem a bit odd as I'm going through here, don't blame me, blame the pigeons. Right guys, I said we're going to siphon this into the clean, sterile demijohn. And in order to do that, we use a siphon tube, a little bit of plastic tubing. It's about 10 or 12 mil diameter, this. And uh, a plastic siphon tube. Then This is rigid, this is flexible, this is rigid. And in the bottom, or on the bottom, there's a little cap, like so. And what happens is it attaches to the hose, the well, tube. Um, this is attached to this tubing. And the idea is to insert this rigid part into the bucket, down into the wine. And the idea of this shaped base is so that you can get it right down as far as the sediment and start to siphon the wine through it, but the sediment remains in the bottom of the bucket. So you just get wine, hopefully, coming up through this tube, along this pipe, and into the demijohn. I've got a little clip that I can use to put this in place, and uh, i get that set up and show you what happens after that. I just wanted to show you from back here guys so that you can see my setup. I've got these little steps down here which I use the top plate of to stand my bottles and demijohns and things on whilst I'm doing this. You can leave them resting on there and it leaves two hands free. As with the clip that's holding the hose or the siphon tube in place in and around that bucket. So I still got both my hands free to do what I need to do here. So you've got your bucket, your siphon tube going down into the, the demijohn. Now all of these tubes and bits and the glass jar have all been sterilized. Sitting in the jug on the counter there, I've got a bubbler and bung that are in sterilization fluid waiting to go on the top of the demijohn when I finish this. Now the fun part guys, I'm going to uh, suck on the end of this tube to start the siphon flow and uh, once it's flowing through the tube it will keep flowing until it's emptied all the liquid from the uh, bottom of the bucket. So let's give it a go and see how we get on. There we go guys. Now I'll lift you off of there, I'll bring you in closer and let you have a look at what's going on here. Well you can clearly see the uh, the pink rhubarb wine liquid going into this glass demijohn down here. And uh, if we follow the hose back up here, you can see how it's clipped to the side of the bucket there. And the rigid tube goes straight down into the liquid inside the bucket. Now what I will do, what I normally do, is as it gets almost to the end, I will tilt the bucket slightly forward, just to bring it towards me so that the liquid all comes to the, the siphon tube, and we get everything we can, but without getting the sediment. So I'll put you back on the uh, tripod. You can see from a distance what I'm doing as this empties into this jar. Well, I hope you can see all right, guys. Um, what I'm doing, I'm just keeping an eye on this. What I need to do is just tilt this bucket slightly so that I get all of the liquid without getting all that sediment mixed up. What I'll do is once I've gotten all this siphoned off, I'll show you what's left in the bottom of the bucket. So, just bear with me a second while the last of this liquid is going into that demijohn. Now it's always a good idea to keep an eye on your demijohn just in case you've got more liquid in here than will fit in that jar. We don't want to be washing the kitchen floor with rhubarb wine. It's almost exactly right. There we go. That's it. 
I'll leave that in place, I'll lift you off and let you see what's in the bottom of the bucket. That's the demijohn and as you can see it's filled up to this shoulder which is almost perfect anywhere between here and the neck but uh, this is still going to be fermenting so it might create a bit of a froth on the surface so having that bit of room in there is not a bad thing and if we go back up here now just lift you over the top of the bucket you can see where that the bottom of that tube I don't know if I can point it out to you but down here the bottom of the siphon tube now is above this sediment so liquid has gone in here but all this gunge all this muck in the bottom has not so we've kept that back that would taint the flavor of the wine and this is why we have now siphoned the wine off of this sediment if I just lift the bucket slightly you can see liquid in that corner and all this sludge which is the result of the yeast working with the sugar and some other sort of uh, bits and pieces within the liquid have all settled at the bottom of the bucket and uh, we can just wash this out wash it down the sink down the drain the bit we want is down here so I'll lift this off of here put it up on the worktop and show you uh, what I do to uh, finish it off well here we have one demijohn with approximately one gallon or eight pints or probably about four and a half litres, something of that nature, in here of our rhubarb wine. Now I know it looks a bit murky, it's a funny pink colour. The idea now is that this will continue working or fermenting in this jar, but it's no longer sitting on all that nasty sediment. So the flavours we've got in here should now be enhanced and not spoiled by all that crud in the bottom. So all I have to do now is to pop this little bubbler, which is sterilized. I've got a bit too much fluid in there. I'm just gonna tip some out. There we go. So I've got a bit of this sterilizing fluid in this bubbler. I'm gonna pop it in my bung in there. Again, making sure hands are clean, everything you handle is clean, and everything you touch to the wine is sterilised. Now that goes in the top of there. Press it in, just like that. Now there is a little lid that goes on this. I'll just rinse it off in cold water, guys. Excuse me for leaning across there. Now we'll just pop that on. And that, basically, is it. So, um... We put that somewhere warm. Uh, I've got a little corner in the utility area which stays fairly warm, around about 20 degrees in there most of the time. And uh, this will be quite happy sitting in there for at least the next week, uh, maybe a bit longer. I'll keep an eye on it. And uh, we will then go through the process of what we call racking off. Um, we've siphoned it from the bucket into the demijohn. We'll leave it in this one for a little while. As it works, it will clear slightly. There will be sediment forming in the bottom. So what we do then is we will rack it from this demijohn into another clean demijohn, leaving all the sediment and rubbish in the bottom here. So we go through that siphoning process once, twice, three times sometimes, until we end up with a nice clean product that we can bottle. Right, well, I'm gonna put this away. Um, that's uh, what, phase three, stage three, part three of AJ's rhubarb wine videos. So we've now got a gallon of rhubarb wine fermenting in a demijohn. Guys, thank you for sticking with me. Uh, it's, it's not the shortest of videos when you're trying to explain all these ways of doing things. To be perfectly honest with you, when I'm doing it on my own, it's a dark side quicker. Uh, trying to film everything and explain everything as you go. Uh, takes a lot longer and uh, quite a bit of my time so I appreciate you sticking around and watching the videos uh, if you haven't before please subscribe to my channel we don't just make wine or beer or cider we do gardening we, we watch the pigeons in the garden we get up to all sorts of things in and around our home and we try and live what we call a fairly good life 
hence the name of my channel, The Life's Good. Well guys, I'll let you go. Whatever you're doing, you be safe, you be happy, come back and see us again. You're always welcome. Bye bye for now.